Okay, thank you, Megan. Um, sorry about that. Um, so, uh, as May Megan mentioned, um, the topic today is get the most from your lab or limb solution. And um, so we'll, we'll get into that shortly, but the first thing I'm going to do is give you a, a brief introduction to, to myself. Um, uh, as Ma Megan mentioned, I'm a client services manager, but before that I was a senior LIMS consultant for um, many years. I've been in the LIMS consulting world for 18. Um, eight of those I had a short stint doing instrument interfacing, and that was with uh, a software package that, that we used to sell back in the early 2000s called Links for LIMS, if any of you have ever heard of that. Um, but that uh, afforded me the opportunity to have a lot of, to get a lot of experience with a lot of different limb systems. Um, Labware, Sample Manager, Lab Manager, SQL Limbs, to name a few. Um, and in that work, we essentially interfaced those limb systems with uh, many, many different types of instruments, ranging from balances, of course, pH meters, all the way up to your more advanced type systems, the CDS systems, where they have proprietary APIs and other uh, means and mechanisms for getting data in and out. Um, but in that 18 years of, of consulting in the LIMS world, um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, sample manager and lab were probably the, the primary systems that I used in my areas of expertise around, around pharma and petrochemical. Um, also, just to throw it out there and mention, I've been a LabWare certified consultant since 2008. So today's agenda, um, we're going to talk of, about getting the most from your LabWare LIMS solution. And uh, in that discussion, uh, I'm going to talk about a couple things, um, some productivity enhancements that you can do within LabWare, um, a couple of uh, ways you can enhance the user experience for everyone in your lab who's using your system. Um, short little brief discussion on uh, whether or not you should upgrade and maybe some reasons why or some things that you should look for, um, look at before you actually do that. And then we'll have a wrap up followed by a Q&A. So hopefully I will make this brief and get some actual free time at the end so that we can have some good questions and answers. Okay, so to get the most from your lab or limbs, um, really the, depending on which version of lab where you are running, um, it's going to have a, a bigger effect on how you can get the most from the system. Obviously with version 5, um, if you're still on version 5 um, today, seeing as how Labware 7 has been out for a couple years now, um, that might mean that you have some budgetary constraints at your organization and you're really not allocated budget to upgrade. Maybe you have a five-year cycle plan, major upgrade of systems, or maybe you just don't have the, the um, uh, opportunity to get the validation done for that particular upgrade. Maybe you've got a, a, a smaller validation force at your organization um, to get that done and it's just a, a really big effort or challenge to do that. Um, another reason why you might not be getting the most from, from your system is that the business needs have changed within your organization. Maybe you've decided that focusing on LES, ELN, that's really the most important thing that you need to do because you really see a bigger benefit in implementing that system or in making improvements in that area within your organization. And of course, you know, with, with the way things have been going the last few years, there's always mergers and acquisitions and maybe you're the parent company of a new merger and you are running Labware and maybe they were running a different version of LIMS and the most important thing on your list for this year is to make everybody harmonize on the same system. And so that's certainly got its challenges and would, would definitely uh, limit your ability to add some new functionality to Labware if that was the case. And then finally, um, well, not finally yet, but uh, phase two or phase three. What I'm talking about here is some companies decide to do a big bang approach to LIMS implementation and others choose to do phased implementations. And big bang has its usefulness, but in, the, in practice it really takes a long time and sometimes a LIMS implementation over many years is not is not necessarily going to be a successful one. It, it's a lot more challenging, I'll say, to, to make it successful. You have to continue to engage the, the business, the upper management, and the user community for the system across that long duration. And a phase one, phased approach is really something that gets you a, a system sooner than later. So in that, in that methodology, maybe you have 
phase two and phase three that you've allocated to do some more automated improvements within your system and maybe because of the changes in business needs or some of the other things that we mentioned a little bit ago, um, maybe those are going to cause you not to actually start or finish your phase two or phase three.